Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Root for America, and I've got Donald Trump's path to victory. It's so simple, it's staring us right in the face. You see, Donald Trump was right again, and we could prove it. Donald's Republican National Convention speech wasn't dark, it wasn't about spreading fear, it was simply the truth. And Hillary's vision of America is pure fraud, fiction, and fantasy. This morning revealed the proof and the wreckage. Two more policemen shot, one killed in San Diego. Donald's version of America is correct. There is, in fact, a war on police under Obama and Hillary. And the economy isn't in recovery. It's in free fall, just as Trump warned. The Fed announced second quarter GDP this morning at a disastrous 1.2%, just as Trump reported the economy is on the verge of collapse. Donald Trump isn't dark. He's just telling the truth. He's warning us before it's too late. We're in crisis and the sky is falling. Donald is a modern day Paul Revere. Hillary made it clear in her Democratic National Convention speech last night that she supports Obama's version of America. She's officially running for a third term of Obama. She's promising more of the same policies as Obama. She is Obama, part due. Great, let's brand her with it. Start morphing the two lovebirds into hashtag Obama Hillary. Make them into the same person, Obama Hillary. Make Hillary own Obama and his miserable results. Make this election a referendum on the Obama Hillary economy. Despite eight long years of lies and propaganda from this government and the mainstream media, it's clear Obama and Hillary's policies are destroying our economy and our middle class. They can't cover up the lies any longer. It's all going downhill fast. Here's a powerful list of shocking, damning, specific facts about the Obama economy, or should I call it Obama Hillary economy. GDP, gross domestic product, is the only real determinant of economic growth. Barack Obama is the only president in the history of America to preside over seven straight years of GDP growth under 3%. And the White House economist just announced that GDP for Obama's last year, this year, will be 1.9%. Obama would therefore become the only president in America's history to never produce a single year of 3% or higher GDP. Even Herbert Hoover outperformed Obama. The longest previous streak of under 3% GDP in the history of America, 1930 to 1933, in the depths of the Great Depression. And for the last 200 plus years, we've averaged 3.79% GDP. Under Obama, we've averaged 1.55%, less than half of our country's economic growth for the last 210 years. Even worse, during the entire Obama presidency, the Commerce Department just downgraded GDP by over $300 billion going back eight years. Some other eye-opening facts. For the first time in American history, more businesses are being destroyed each day than being created. There are 70% more Americans collecting entitlement checks than working in the private sector. This is a fact provided by the U.S. Census Bureau. 13 of the 23 Obamacare state co-op exchanges have failed, gone broke. The remaining 10 have lost over $200 million a year. The $1.24 billion of federal startup money used to start them all is probably gone forever. It'll never be repaid. In this Obama economy, 40% of American workers now earn less than a full-time minimum wage worker in 1968. 20% of U.S. families don't have a single member who's employed. A record number of Americans are not in the workforce, over 94 million. More young Americans now live with their parents than at any time since the Great Depression. 43% of student loan borrowers aren't making any payments, 43%. Two-thirds of Americans don't have $500 for an emergency bill. Food stamp use up over 43% under Obama. The number of new food stamp recipients three times higher than new job recipients under Obama. The middle class has shrunk in nine out of every 10 U.S. cities. And for the first time in almost a half century, the middle class is no longer the economic majority in America. Pew Research reported the middle class is disappearing and hollowing out. It's time to make the U.S. economy the centerpiece of the Trump campaign. We're on TV ads 24-7 touting these real facts about the Obama-Hillary economy. Hillary keeps saying she's running for the third term of Obama, so let's give her exactly what she wants. Make her own Obama. Make her own this economy. For the next 100 days, turn Hillary into hashtag ObamaHillary. I'm Wayne Allyn for Root for America. God bless Donald Trump, and God bless America.